proof Pop Smoke's passing was gang-related. Truth revealed. Lashard Jackson, a rapper otherwise known as Pop Smoke, was brutally murdered in his Hollywood Hills home from what was initially looked at as an armed robbery. The Canarsie-born rapper's career was on a quick rise before four masked men broke into his home and shot him. Pop Smoke's sound was something new for the rap game. Mixing it with Brooklyn culture, he easily made a name for himself in New York. At just 20 years old, Pop Smoke was already recognized by greats in the game. Today at Lime Report, we will be covering proof of Pop Smoke's passing being gang-related. With ties back to the East in New York and a street past, it is easy to think that Pop Smoke was affiliated with a gang. Do you think that Pop Smoke's murder was gang-related violence? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned to find out how Pop Smoke's death is gang-related. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to comment keyword smoke to enter for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Plenty of celebrities voiced their thoughts on the case, and most deemed it to be based on jealousy. Pop Smoke's 50 Cent influence was a big role in his come up, and 50 was sort of a mentor to the Brooklyn born rap star. As his career continued to expand, he began to work with many more big named artists. He's gotten the attention of Meek Mill and Travis Scott to name a few. Pop Smoke would eventually take the route that many music talents did and headed west. The most opportunity comes from LA. There are many artists you can connect with. With Pop Smoke's credibility already being built up in New York, the rest would come as second hand. His work on Travis Scott's Jack Boys would see Pop Smoke make the Billboard Hot 100 for the first time. Since his tragic passing, Pop Smoke's streams have gone up 392%. His downloads also started to boom. His name, even after he had passed, was making income. Watch until the end to find out how Pop Smoke's passing was gang related. It is sad to see what was such a talented up and coming individual have their life taken from them in such a short period of time. 50 Cent and Nicki Minaj alongside Travis Scott saw the potential in Pop Smoke's career. Surveillance footage saw four hooded and masked men entering Pop Smoke's Hollywood Hills house at 4.30 in the morning. The cameras outside had seen the men approach the front door before going to the back. The suspects went into the house through the back door, revealed surveillance footage, but in the end, the intruders left the house from the front door. Surveillance cameras also saw that the men had not walked out with anything in their hands, so they are unclear of the motive. This is where the thought of a possible targeted hit comes into play. In the weeks before his death, Pop Smoke had posted pictures on Instagram showing him next to and holding large stacks of cash. One such picture was posted the day before he died. He also posted about a gift bag he had received, in which the address of the Hollywood Hills home was clearly visible. The two shots that fatally killed Bashar Jackson were the only two shots fired in the entire house. Once law enforcement arrived upon the scene, Pop Smoke was then rushed to Cedar sinai Medical Center in West Hollywood, where he was pronounced dead. There were other people in the house at the time that the shooting happened. Pop Smoke, on the other hand, was alone in another part of the house all alone when authorities found him. There were not many signs of a robbery, considering the intruders never ransacked the home looking for valuables. The masked men also didn't struggle to find Pop Smoke before they had left the house in a short manner of time. Police and authorities said that the men left with just a few things. There were a couple of items that were taken, but some of the things you would think would be taken weren't even really looked for. Captain Jonathan Tippett said, So that's why we're not really saying that it was a robbery or that he was the intended target, he continued. Pop Smoke, being raised in Brooklyn, New York, was involved in street life. Los Angeles Police Department went out to say that they were informed by East Coast counterparts of Bashar Jackson's gang affiliation back east. Pop Smoke was in the middle of a federal case for transporting a stolen Rolls Royce across state lines. Authorities followed their claim by stating that they do not think that there was any indication of a rival gang from the East Coast that had come to Los Angeles to target him. Keep watching to find out the truth about Pop Smoke's gang-related death. Considering that Bashar Jackson, aka Pop Smoke, was the only person to be shot as he was in an isolated area, the shot leads to the conception that the men who broke into the home knew what they were looking for. Things began to get fishy in Bashar Jackson's case because authorities didn't initially think he was targeted. Los Angeles Police Department Captain Steve Lurie revealed that law enforcement conceived a call just before 5 a.m. Eastern Time from someone back east who reported that one of his friend's homes was being broken into and that one of the suspects was armed with a handgun. It was also released that the person who initially dialed 911 was in contact with another person in the house at the time of the incident. 
Many were quick to say that the story was fishy, since no one in the house decided to call the police themselves. Police did detain everyone else that was in the house at the time, but none of them were arrested and all were released. The home invaders were last seen running away from the scene. Police think they may have gotten into a nearby vehicle. With all this news coming about on the case, does this reveal that Pop Smoke's murder was actually a targeted hit? All of this does point in the direction that the murder is gang affiliated. There was still a lot of information for law enforcement to look at considering that the neighborhood in the Hollywood Hills consists of many houses equipped with camera systems that could have very possibly revealed more about the case. Pop Smoke unknowingly leaked the address to his own house the same day he was showing his fans the view from his home on his Instagram. It was when Bashar Jackson had posted a video of luxury bags that had his house address on the delivery. This could have also led to his death. Many people started to believe that Pop Smoke leaking his own house address caused him to be targeted the way he was. This was not the only time that Pop Smoke's address had been accidentally released to the public. His friend, Mike D, had posted images on his Instagram that unknowingly had the numbers to Bashar Jackson's house in them. Things got bad for Mike D, who was basically Pop Smoke's brother, as many fans started to run with the idea of him being guilty of setting up Pop Smoke's murder. Mike D was Pop Smoke's dear friend since childhood. Many fans thought he was the guilty party. The two were photographed together just hours before the shooting, and fans claimed that Mike D deleted posts and changed some Instagram captions after news of Pop's death surfaced. This was what started allegation of Pop Smoke's brother being involved in the tragic murder of 20-year-old Pop Smoke. Mike D eventually had to come out and say, Can't nothing express the pain I'm feeling. I just lost my bleep brother, my heart, my dogs. You guys have no type of sense or sympathy. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all come on here playing investigator and bashing me on the internet. I would never in my life set my brother up. We ate together, broke bread together. This really my mother's child. I don't got to explain nothing to nobody that don't know me. But for the ones who know me, know when you saw me, you saw Pop. We live in such a blanked up society. Y'all got to wake up. Just know I got you forever, brother. The truth will come to light. Until then, sleep in peace. Mike wrote in the heartfelt Instagram post that included photos of him with Pop Smoke, the dates all the way back to when the two were children. Let us know in the comments below if you think there is any chance that Mike D, Pop Smoke's best friend, set him up or not. Someone who wasn't hesitant to speak up on the topic of Pop Smoke's death was California rapper Blueface. On his Instagram story, he posted a screen with the text reading, People think Cali, LA is beautiful sunny palm trees. Blank die here every single day. I recommend any artist coming this way to get in touch with the right natives. As soon as you relax and think it's cool this way, that's when they strike. He then followed by posting another photo that read, A young, immature, dumb, blank might take what I said as checking in and if you do tap in with a blank who shows any signs of power or misconception because you hit him when you land, then that is the wrong native, he said. Do you think that Blueface's comments came too soon after the death of Pop Smoke? Let us know what you think in the comments below. It has been very sad times in the music and rap culture. Plenty of artists whose names blow up quickly and seem to have potential to be the biggest names have been passing. Most recently, Juice World lost his life to an overdose. Many people in the music industry were upset and ashamed to see such a young talent get his career ended short in such a tragic way. Radio personality Peter Rosenberg was left in disbelief at the young rapper's murder, tweeting, shocked and disgusted about the murder of Pop Smoke. I cannot believe that we are here again. Heartbreaking. His unique sound was something that many young artists in New York are recognizing as the possible future of Brooklyn rap. Pop Smoke's career was just getting started. He was in with some of the biggest names in the rap game. With mentors like 50 Cent, Bashar Jackson's career would have only kept rising. Thanks for tuning into Lime Report as we covered proof that Pop Smoke's passing was gang related. This tragedy is a reminder to live every day as if it was your last and to be for the people you have around you. Jealousy is something dangerous. You never know when it is your time to go. Things can change so quickly in one moment. Pop Smoke's promising career was left short. Please leave us a like on this video and comment Smoke to enter for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. In the comment section below, comment Rest in Peace Pop to send your condolences and be sure to check back soon as we will be revisiting his case and keeping you updated as more information becomes available. Police should be able to confirm a motive or hopefully a suspect as this case continues to develop. 
Pop Smoke's awful murder is one that hits hard for many young fans of the 20-year-old. Thanks again for tuning in. We will see you on the next video.